This is Win News. Tonight, hints the GST could rise. The Henry Tax Review to reveal all. Labor names its candidates for the seats of Canberra and Fraser. And Canberrans celebrate a special milestone on the lake. Good evening, I'm Jessica Good. The federal opposition is warning the upcoming budget may involve raising the GST rate. A major review of the tax system will be released in a week, several months after being handed to the government. Opponents doubt it will be good news. Coming up next on We News, Canberrans hit the track on their day off for the Race and Taste Festival and a Canberra landmark marks a special milestone. Next month's ACT budget will include more than $5 million to design an early childhood school in Franklin, as well as primary schools in both Bonner and the new Malongo Valley development. Gargalan's the only region of Canberra which doesn't currently have an early childhood school. The Franklin School is expected to open in 2013. And Lachlan with sport is next and a pretty depressing weekend of sporting oh, that's results. That's one like. way of putting it, Jess. Nothing for local rugby and basketball fans to cheer about. And if you are a league follower, well, the Raiders have been left scratching their heads after another second half shutdown. <music> the Brumbies' final hopes could be all but over after going down to the Waratahs. Well, in what's becoming a pretty bad habit for the Raiders, the side's seen 40 minutes of quality football go to waste after falling asleep in the second half. The South Sydney Rabbitohs staged a remarkable comeback day clash, scoring 20 unanswered second half points. We, we just need to get together, work out what, what we're doing right because, you know, for the first 40 minutes of the game we had, you know, control it for, for that majority of that first half. So have won only won two games so far this season and now sit 14th on the ladder. Well, now quickly having a look at some basketball news if we can. And the, in some Canberra Gunners are yet to secure a win at home this season after going down to Bendigo. The Braves scored 18 unanswered points to take the victory in round six of the South East Australian Basketball League. Hey, the girls, like I said, they're great. Um, it's great to get to know, know everyone a little bit better and um, yeah, just sort of build those foundations. Clearly we're having some pretty bad technical difficulties there. That weren't the Gunners and they were the Opals instead. Well, having a look at the weekend results now from a big weekend in terms of the wrap. It was absolutely massive this weekend in local sport. Plenty going on at Fairbairn Park and at Canberra Stadium as well out of Belconnen. In the basketball, Bendigo had another big win over the uh, Canberra Gunners who are yet to get a win up on home soil. Lisa Mosley, Win News. Yeah, like I said, a pretty big weekend in local sport. Now we'll try and bring you that opening package we're trying to get to about the Raiders coming off the back of that pretty disappointing loss to the Rabbitohs 26-24 at Canberra Stadium. Hopefully we can bring you that right now. No. No, we're having no luck. Yes, unfortunately, that's I think all we've got for local sport tonight. The Gremlins are back from Friday, unfortunately, so I think we might have to go to a commercial break and leave it to you and and to weather. We'll be straight back. Hopefully, we can get everything fixed out with all your local weather details straight. <laughs>
Outback Prestige Waterford, three seater and yep, two seater. Then, and weather. Steel at then we're going to go into getting rug out colour. Comfort with our popular Lucinda suite, a three seater and two recliners in 100% can, leather. Can for you just wind back to the GVO? We're not on the GVO. You'll find it at your local Harvey Norman store, your number one destination for us. Get me on the GVO. Okay. Hollywood's biggest stars are about to discover their hidden family secrets. It's a cooler day across the region, but nothing like the ice conditions catching the Alpine region. Yes, but you... Well, it was a cooler day across the region, but nothing like the icy conditions captured in the Alpine region on this particular day. This image comes to us from Jindabyne. If you have your own images, visit nothinglikeaustralia.com to share your favourite holiday experience. And we'll feature it right here. But now to the rest of today's weather. The cool change had us reaching for our extra blankets overnight, but the sunshine returned today. And the mercury climbed to 17 degrees amid the light northwesterly winds. Right now, it's 15 in Civic. Similar conditions on the Southern Table with lows around 2 degrees and tops of 17 and 18 degrees. On the south coast, a bit of sunshine around and light to moderate west to northwesterly winds. Top temperatures peaked around the 20s. Mild and sunny on the snowies and icy minus 3 to 8 for Threadbow, Cooma 17. To the satellite, a cloud band stretches across central western Australia into the bite and that's linked with a trough and cold front approaching the country's southeast. On the synoptic chart, a front will pass to the south of the region tomorrow, bringing the chance of brief showers which will clear by Wednesday. The ridge will remain the dominant influence over the weather for the rest of the week and into the weekend. The south coast is in for a windy but partly cloudy Tuesday. Southerly winds and a cooler 21 the high for Maruya Heads and Batemans Bay 22 for Nara. Isolated early fog with patchy rain in the southwest of the Tablelands. But these centres mostly fine and 17 degrees. Scattered showers turning to snow at the resorts as autumn well and truly sets in minus one to four for Threbo, mostly cloudy and 16 for Cooma and Bombala. Canberra, a generally fine day apart from the chance of a brief shower on the western ranges, west northwesterly winds, just 17 the high after two tonight, sunset at the early time of 26 minutes past five. And now to the five day forecast. It will be mostly sunny until Friday when any cloud cover should clear just in time for the weekend. Our top temperatures at this stage climbing right back into the low 20s on Saturday. And finally tonight, since taking the spotlight in 2007, the eccentric nature of Kevin Rudd has gained national attention. Federal political reporter Rob Herrick attempts to understand the nation's most powerful man in this tell-all interview. And now just recapping tonight's top stories. The federal opposition is warning the upcoming budget may involve raising the GST rate. A major review of the tax system will be released in a week, several months after being handed to the government. Opponents doubt it will not be good news. The Australian Labor Party's rank and file membership has voted en masse, putting up two surprise candidates for the upcoming federal election. Powerful faction heavyweights have been left stunned as an independent and broad right member won pre-selection for two of the safest Labor seats in the nation. The Monero is now a safer place to live than two years ago. Local authorities say pleasing crime figures show the government's strategy of getting police out of the office and onto the street is working. 20,000 people have huddled in the shadows of the Australian War Memorial for the Anzac Day dawn service. It was just one of several ways Canberrans came together to reflect upon the 8,000 Australians who gave their lives at Gallipoli 95 years ago. And once again, we apologise for tonight's technical difficulties. And that's Win News for Monday night. If you have a news tip you'd like to share, you can email us at cantips at wintv.com.au. I'm Jessica Good on behalf of our news team. Thanks for joining us. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win Television, Australia's largest commercial television network.